All right, so we're going to now take a look at um, uh, working in the Eclipse environment, working with the Hello World in terms of Google App Engine. So here we are inside of Eclipse, and I have the Eclipse Juno Service Release 1 uh, version of Eclipse. You're going to want to make sure that when you download the plugin for Eclipse uh, for App Engine, uh, that you get the version that matches the version of Eclipse that you have. And again, my tip on downloading uh, and setting up uh, Eclipse in Java is using Ninite to get the JDK, because I did have some issue with that the first time I set it up. So then the second thing that you're going to do is you're going to go and you're going to download uh, the, uh, the uh, Google App Engine plugin. And you get all that off of the uh, developers.google.com. I'll actually show you the specific URLs in the last demo here, but once you get it all downloaded, then inside of here you check a sample app and then you'll have a, a sample app. Now I have several different apps over here in the navigator pane, but um, the one that we have here is Hello Google, um, I'll, which is you know completely baked. But uh, just to show you what it would look like to create a new app, I'll say File, New, and then rather than a Java project, I'm going to have a Google App Engine Web App Project. So that's with the little icon right there. And then I give it uh, you know, a name, and then I'll say, uh, you know, what, what day is it? Let's see, January 2nd, um, dot lin, dot com or something. And then notice the default is Google Web Toolkit. We don't want that level of complexity we don't quite need yet. Google App Engine, here's the SDK, and we're going to use the um, high replication uh, data store. Now if we click this Configure SDKs, that's going to point to the direction uh, where this thing is loaded. Okay, so again, if there's any sort of problem or challenge, you can't find it, you can configure it there. And then you click finish, and then you would then you would have it. So what you would have is basically you would have a project that looks kind of like this. So let me just show you here. So you have a settings, direct, dot settings directory, you have a source, you have a war, which is like a zip, if you've never seen it before, dot class path, dot project. So if you drill into here, uh, the uh, war directory, you have an index HTML. So if I open this up, you'll see inside of here that you have a um, link to uh, Hello Google, um, which is going to point to your servlet. So this is just a static page that is going to call your, your business logic, if you will. And that is going to be found inside of here in your source directory. You go down to, in this case, I named it com, Lin Lang it, G-A-E, and hello Google servlet.java. So if I double click that, uh, you can see that it's got some imports up at the top. And then uh, inside of here, as I mentioned from the slide, your entry point is the do get uh, method, which is extending the HTTP servlet and is just returning hello world. Again, I know a lot of this is probably new, just want to get an introduction because you guys are developers in the next uh, course or section. I will be uh, writing this from scratch so you can kind of see how it works. So now if we wanted to run this, we'd right click and we'd say run as and we'd say web application and this will uh, bring up the local uh, uh, instance of the Google uh, uh, App Engine infrastructure. So we run it and it's going to show us a console. Now notice there is an update to the SDK. Here, I'll show you that. So it tells us already, even in the two weeks since I last did this, Google updated again. And then here it's showing us that we can actually take a look at this at this uh, location. So if I bring up a local browser here and put that in, there's my Hello App Engine, and I click Hello Google, and there's my Hello World. So easy peasy. Now if I stop that and I wanted to deploy this, then I would go to Google and I have a whole menu of things I can do here. Now I can add other APIs, I can import other projects, but if I wanted to deploy, I would just say deploy to App Engine and it would say deploy and then it would ask me if it's a front end or a back end. Now what this is is the front end is like a Windows Azure web role. In other words, it has a user interface and a back end is like a Windows Azure worker role. It has no user interface. Um, and if I didn't understand what that was, I could just click over here. Now if I, if I were all set up, I could just deploy and then it would package it up and deploy it. But because I want you to understand what we're doing here, I'm going to click on the App Engine project settings. And you can see again, inside of here, we've got which version of the SDK, 
we have this thing called an application ID and a version. Now if we click out here to My Applications, it's really interesting. Look where it goes. It tells me I have to sign in, so I'll do that. And then it's going to take me out to the App Engine console. And it's going to say, do you have a destination set up for this? No, I don't. I don't have a destination. So if I tried to deploy it, it would fail because I need to have something called Hello Google to deploy to. So you can see the relationship between this, this is a destination container, and your source data. And then by default, I'm enabling my uh, high replication data store um, uh, support, so my NoSQL. And then I can have other types of data storage here if I want to. If I want to deploy, I click OK, and then it's deployed. So it's a somewhat familiar kind of environment if you're you know, a Visual Studio developer, which I'm assuming most, most of you are. Um, and again, I would highly recommend that you get the Eclipse plugin because of the Google button, which we'll be fully explaining as we go through the series. But that gives you, you know, really just a really quick sort of uh, introduction to what that looks like. Now once it is deployed, then you can go up here, and here I have one that's deployed, and I can open a live version. And it's a little different implementation. I just hello Google, GWT user. I was playing around with the GWT there. And you can notice hello from linappspot.com gives some information. That's what my servlet's doing. So it's actually, this is the actual live URL running on Google's infrastructure. Now if I wanted to look at the overhead to this application, like I had shown you in the billing section, you can see here that I can see that we have, you know, this much of the front end instance hours used. I have, I have 28 that are available for free at the free tier that I, that I have, um, so on and so forth. And you can see all different kinds of information about this App Engine um, uh, application from, you know, how many instances, like if I had different versions. You can see I'm on my second version here. Logs, so on and so forth. So again, at this point, it's just important for you to understand the relationship between this console, the live application, and the source inside of Eclipse. We'll be drilling in a lot more detail in the next module.